Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day in the market. It's February 28th. It's a Tuesday. We're gonna look at some technical analysis, uh, some SPY, price action, BBBY, Hellbiz, GME, some runners today. Somewhat boring day, but we're gonna go over it. Uh, sub up, like up, comment down, happy money sticks around. Follow us on Twitter at happymoneyyt, as well as our Discord server. Link for both those are in the description. Um, today, so I opened up the futures a short yesterday here on the futures uh, to hold on this bear flag, rejecting VWAP. And it looked good in the close, and I put a stop limit on it. And um, that's usually what I do with futures. And then it looked all good. Then we had this crazy. I was here, stop loss. Came up a little bit, didn't trigger it. Nice, nice dump, and then pre market just random rally. Triggered the stop loss and then sold back off before open. So, round trip would have been better if I just didn't have a stop loss, but they saved me more than they probably hurt me. And then today basically was quite flat on the spy. So, bounced off the, the daily low twice, and I actually took a long here on the on the double bottom. Actually, I waited. I was like, double bottom couldn't take a long, and I got scared, and then I was like, I'll take it here. <laughs> so I grabbed it here, and then I think I just stopped out of that. I don't think I took profits there. Or maybe I did, I can't remember. I did a few trades on here. Yeah, no, I, I took profits on that one. And then up here, took a couple shorts. Um, basically, yeah, we just moved back up to this little peak from yesterday's high, and also the pre-market high. And then I took a short and I got scared and I'd close it on these big wicks. Did that two times and finally took one and there we are, started grinding down. So I'm in that short on the ES, on the futures. I have a stop loss on it, so somewhere up here. I'll probably do the same thing I did yesterday and uh, hopefully the, this doesn't, I don't get stopped out on it and we gap down 2%, 5% tomorrow, that'd be sick. Um, but that's my trades on it today. As far as TA wise, again, it's pretty flat. Everything that's still applied yesterday applies today. Um, there's some bullish indicators, some bearish. So more or less, we're just consolidating. But on the longer term trend, it is still down. Uh, I don't see any indicators of reversal, uh, like a long term reversal or da daily candles, basically. So trend is still down uh, any day. I think it could just keep coming down and keep flushing. Not a whole lot of data this week. There are some earnings. Um, don't necessarily need catalyst for it to start dropping. But um, yeah, so I'll, I'll ride my short. Uh, BBBY, new lows, just kind of continuing this stair step down. Oh, was that this morning? Yeah, it was pretty boring actually in the market, but uh, BBBY had a little pump this morning as we've seen on it, and then just came down here and barcoded, but not down a whole lot, down 4.5%, just, just stair stepping down with the random liquidity spike the upside either extended hours or in the morning or a little in the afternoon a little in the morning um still haven't filled the gap getting very close though a dollar 36 that was the low today and so it's starting to fill the gap i think the top of it was a dollar 40 something the low of this gap fills a dollar 31 so i think we'll probably still keep coming down to there and then at some point we'll probably get a, a pretty significant bounce more or less a dead cap bounce and I don't know if that'll be $1.75 or what, but that won't necessarily be the beginning of a big rally. Uh, could very well be a big bounce and then consolidation and maybe even a retest of whatever low we made when we did that bounce, just to find the buyer support. Um, so, but yeah, everything's looking looking good so far. Um, just coming down to the support basically and make a double bottom that'll be a nice nice little ta to trade off to the upside uh if we even make a lower low that'd be fine um, especially if there's an rsi divergence which the way it's come down so kind of slowly compared to back here see how this just came down so fast it just screwed the rsi up um and this way it's been much slower so our rsi is staying higher so if we keep grinding down the new low and then get a bounce and then we'll get another little inverted peak like here a little trough but it'll be higher than this one. And that would be a nice nice signal to go along with the RSI divergence. So any any sort of possible scenarios playing out. Uh, double bottom's probably the most likely. RSI divergence with a new low could happen. Uh, the new low, I don't know what it'd be. 88 right here is the all-time low. So maybe down here. 
Uh, we'll just have to see once we start filling the gaps down there. Um, and uh, honestly, with these spikes, you could even trade BY just on a day trade type type deal. We we're talking about it in chat today. Streaming, just catching the lows and the barcode and just grabbing it and selling either aftermarket or pre pre market when it has a spike or the next day when it has a run up um, like it's been doing basically every day. So I'm not doing that, but it's definitely a play you could do. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you what positions I have on there now. GME kind of kind of melting off in the last hour here, but it, it's looking more bullish because we haven't really we haven't really flushed, and it's at this level that um, it's just kind of teetering around. So it's it's clo it's close to looking like to me we either have found a low or we're gonna probably drop back down here to 1540 or even lower. So. This RSI was giving us that divergence, but now it looks like it might not be because today got a little bit, a little bit too bearish. Yeah. That RSI divergence is gone. Um, slightly more bearish looking then. Um, so we'll see. I did get sold shares yesterday, picked up a leap. Uh, if we come down here, I'll continue to get leaps. This 15 range and I mean, this would be a good case scenario if we did the same thing I was just talking about on BBBY on GME with a double bottom or even an RSI divergence before earnings, which would literally be mirroring the same thing we did last year on GME earnings. We would be in this period like right here. Or we're at, or no, we're not at the low. Sorry, we're, we'd be like right here. Then we come down, make a new low, make an RSI divergence, and then have earnings and rally. So uh, the time frame's the same, earnings is coming up. So potentially a new low or even the same low double bottom and then rip rip rally um but yeah that being said jimmy has held up really well around this 1940 range which is historical support and today we did have our side divergence on the daily for a while until just now we've kind of flushed but 40 minutes left to go maybe move up to view up and we'll still see that divergence there um a couple other runners today help is was rallying five shares of that one below my cost basis now but this one could could be a nice buy, honestly, because it's at it basically. So this is what I'm saying could happen on BBY. Um, it's going to get to that low and just find tons of buying pressure and bounce buyer and technical traders. And it's going to bounce. Um, won't necessarily just keep going, but a bounce and consolidation and then and then a reversal trend potentially, or it could keep coming down. But we're hoping for a reversal trend after that bounce. Um, but on Hellbiz here, yeah, it's basically hit hit its all time low picked up in volume and it bounced and this one also has the the added bonus of potentially going after illegal naked shorting in its stock along with gns um so a couple catalysts that could make this one go kind of crazy so and today it's held up really well uh, i would have gotten more shares exposure on it but i'm i'm in out of buying power on my accounts there I've, I've day traded on them and so i'm like i don't know i have to wait for cash settled funds basically basically cash accounts with margin if that makes any sense so um tomorrow i should have settled funds and i should be able to make some moves uh a couple of them i might average into elbiz and i was gonna actually open up a cash here put on reda might still do that tomorrow and then amc rally today and then it kind of sold off it has earnings after hours i'm not holding anything for that uh yeah, I just have to jump on the stream to see what we open up. And here are the plays. Nat Gas, of course, rallied. This thing dipped today, and I was getting hyped. It's going to get my my fill. Uh, my, my fill price, though, is down here. Didn't quite get to it. Got, got like, uh, it did dip today, but I didn't add to it on this dip. It wasn't enough. So now it's back up, up 1.10% and broke that high from this kind of range it was in it's hard and hard and ugly to see on there on that e-trade look at it on here it's a little bit better so yeah you can see right here kind of broke this high this resistance so uh, it's got gaps to fill up here it's got a lot of upside potential still on ung i'm trying to add to it on any dip um this dip today was or sorry right here have been a nice one so not much dip 
these buyers are allowing to happen. They they eat it up pretty quick. So anyway, still have those, and then the futures that I said I traded uh, back and forth. The ones I traded basically, I lost a little bit on some of them, up and in and out. But the one I have right now, I'm up. So up on the day on that, and again, I'll probably hold it till probably hold it. Try not to get stopped out. But yeah, here's three those three nat gas contracts. I'd like to like double this. I don't know. And then here's that one uh, short yes. And the trades on the other account. I think I did anything. Yeah, I don't have any buying power, so didn't do anything on either of those. Still have the cash cured puts on BBBY. And then there's the leap. I, a couple leaps I picked up yesterday on GME. And yeah, that's what I did. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on Discord. Peace out.